Hey everyone, today I wanted to show my summer bag collection. So I did have a bag collection video that I have filmed in the past and a few of those bags, I think one or two, might be featured also in this video, but most all of these bags are summer oriented or travel bags. So this is a special kind of bag collection and I had some inspiration. I was inspired to do this video because I recently bought these Igloo products. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Igloo, they're a pretty popular, or I would say well-renowned uh, cooler, like bags and coolers, like ice chests and things like that, at least in the US. I don't know if they're international. But they, I mean, when I was four years old, I remember I had like an igloo cooler lunchbox, the one that kind of slides back and forth. And what's funny is that I was, you know, scrolling social media and I saw these like igloo um, retro themed lunchboxes and coolers and fanny packs. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is a throwback to the 90s, early 2000s. So, I absolutely had to get some stuff. I bought it with my own money. <laughs> I wish it was a sponsorship, but uh, it's not. <laughs> anyway, so I picked up these items. So they'll be the first items that I go through, and then I'll have a a lot more bags to show you based on the season of summer and just the summer season and traveling and the different bags we might use during the summer. So I hope you enjoy all the pleasant summer bag sounds. So hopefully you enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started. got a new graphic t-shirt. <laughs> I'm hoping to grow my collection extensively over my lifetime, so I got this new, new one that I really love. It kind of goes with the retro theme. So, the first bag we have uh, that I want to go through is the one I recently got. It's actually like a lunchbox. You could also use it as just any general cooler, you know, with just drinks or anything. I would say for maybe like a small picnic for just yourself or maybe one or two other people, you could put a few drinks in here. I think it would become difficult with like a full picnic or a large group of people. You might need something larger. So we'll get into a larger option in a bit, but for now we'll go through the personal lunchbox option. So, this is the bag. They have different colors. So, this is one of the colors. I forgot what the color is called, but I will link it below. And you can see the variations. They're usually different colors on the panels. The um, handles and such. Very red. And it's got a cute retro looking um, logo. I really liked how this brand promotes itself because Igloo has this sort of all encompassing brand look and feel, but their products will have different themes. So they might have a partnership with like a rock band, and that set of products will represent the band. And just like they have the theme of like the 90s, if you will, or the 80s even, 
the retro theme is a set of products, so I think they do a really good job of creating themes that people resonate with and feel connected with under the encompassing uh, brand of Igloo. I think they do that really well. That's a little bit of my marketing expertise coming out. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it's got a yellow, this like mint green, and there's a pink, like a hot pink handle, so I'll go through the pockets and everything. It's got, I would say, a very simple, like, nylon lunchbox cloth on the outside, so if you have a lot of spillage, or if you feel like you might stain things easily, this might not be the best option to clean easily for you, so just keep that in mind. But you have a front pocket here, and I will go ahead and open it. Okay, so I do believe it's just a general pocket. I don't think it's like a cooler where you could stick something cold in there necessarily, but this is great if you want to add a bottle opener or napkins or utensils or things like that. I actually do use this personally when I go into the office. I switched out from my old lunchbox and I love it because it makes me feel so happy. But yeah, just a little pocket there. Okay. Then we have the top of the lunchbox. This is obviously the cooler section. portion of it could be easy enough to clean if there were any spills. So, it's definitely got that, you know, general cooler feel. And as you can tell, it kind of folds very easily, so it's not very structured. If you're looking for something with more structure, I think they're classic coolers. They're, I think they're plastic. Um, would probably suit you more if you are looking for something like that. This is obviously also a type of plastic. It's just more flexible and it kind of squishes. I would say it has some sturdiness though. It's just not as square. Um, and I'm going to just turn it around. Back. And this is the handle. It's got a, um, a nice shoulder pad, some hot pink going through, and a adjuster. So you can make it short or long. Giving the full 360 effect. So that is the lunchbox. I don't think it's called a lunchbox. I think it's just called a cooler of some kind, but like I said, I'll link it below if you're interested. It's also got a nice handle at the top, which I actually really like. I use that frequently. So I'm gonna zip it back up. Okay. So, that is my lunchbox slash cooler for small or personal picnics if you desire to use it for that, but I think it's so adorable and not, you know, it's very unique, um, which I like and perfect for summer. Okay, let's go ahead and get the next igloo pieces. So, these next pieces are fanny packs from Igloo. Now these are, I think, initially what stood out to me when I saw the advertisements. Um, and I just thought they were so cute. And I'm always on the hunt for good fanny packs. 
especially around the summertime. I think the one I have is just worn and torn. It's been a few years and I was already kind of looking for a new one. Um, sometimes though it's hard to find ones that I really want to get. Now these are obviously not the most fashionable. I don't think I'd wear these on like a nice night out. I mean it might be like a fun night out but nothing fancy I feel. Um, but that being said, I think there's something to be said where you could really style these if you wanted to. So I'll go through this one first. I actually got two because this one's for my husband and he liked this color scheme which is like green and blue and this one's like a teal and pink so or Actually, this one still has the tag on it because I have yet to use it. Um, so you can kind of see the, you know, retro theme um, for this product line. Um, so I'll just tuck it away for now and I'll take it off later. Now, it's actually a cooler as well. So, they basically took a, the cooler concept and made it like a mini cooler. It's not that small. I would say it looks and feels pretty boxy, so if you're looking for something really small and compact, this may not be what you're looking for. However, if you're like me, and sometimes try to bring everything but the kitchen sink when I go places. Or like, we love to visit Disneyland because we're pass holders. This is actually something really useful so I can pack a lot into it, but it feels really lightweight. So there's actually, it's already unzipped, but um, a folder here, or not folder, but the uh, top of the bag lives here and it's actually a cooler inside so if you ever went to the beach or on a lake you know you went boating or something or you're hiking you can stick a cold beverage in there and it should stay cool like a can or a bottle so it's got the same cooler effect but you don't have to use it like a cooler That's the inside. So that's the top of the bag. I'll go ahead and zip that. Okay. And then we obviously have the pocket here, which is just a general pocket. So you can stick your keys in there. Maybe your phone. It might be a little small for a phone. That, you know, a general smartphone. Um, but it's very cute and it's got the retro logo. This is the hot pink and teal uh, color scheme, which I can link it again below. So I don't remember the name. <laughs> so I'll have to take this card off. I don't think it, uh, I don't think it has this color theme name on it, but it just talks about the different things. Oh, apparently it's antimicrobial, leak resistant, and easy to clean liner. So that's nice. Okay. And how many drinks it can hold is up to three. Apparently that's This is what it looks like. This is kind of the thickness. This is like my hand. If you want to compare it, it's pretty, I would say it feels pretty large if you're on the short side. I'm 5'3", so I'm a little bit more petite. And then there's um, this a handle or essentially goes around your waist and the classic clip here. 
here. So that adjusts. I haven't uh, taken off the plastic, but my husband did take his off, so I'll show his next. But yeah, that's mine. And I'm excited to wear it this summer while we travel and hopefully go to Disneyland more. It can get really warm in the summer, so sometimes staying inside is what we prefer. So this is the other one. It's green and blue and has the yellow strap. I think they all have yellow. And I won't go through the pockets because they're pretty simple. of the fanny packs are pretty squishable. I don't know if that's a word, but um, they're not, they might sag a little, I guess, depending on the weight of the items, but I don't think it would go too much. I think it's pretty structured still for being very flexible. They're very colorful, very unique, and fun, and really bright for summer. So, definitely beats out all the kind of boring looking coolers that often are the options we have in stores. So, unless you prefer minimal looks, which I can totally understand, I believe Igloo has a ton of other products that, like I said, cater to a lot of different styles, so you'll probably find very uh, minimal looking styles, neutral styles as well. Um, so I just really loved this due to the fact of what it looked like. So I've yet to try them out to their fullest uh, quality, I would say, um, but I have used the lunchbox and I really enjoyed that. So. Alright, so let's move on to the next item. Might be, a, um, might be a little difficult to see the full product here. I'll try to. So, as you could hopefully tell, this is a bigger cooler uh, than the other ones. And it's our cooler that we have when we like go on much longer, you know, vacations or to a lake or something. On the top here it might be kind of dusty, so do I do apologize. <laughs> this is actually from Target from like a few summers ago. I don't think they have this pattern anymore. Maybe I don't know, but they always come out with like new coolers that look really simple like this. So, and they're very inexpensive, so I definitely recommend. It's very structured. Um, it's like a foam type feel, but it's pretty structured. Not very loosey goosey. You have cup holders. This flap opens in to the interior of the cooler. So, as you can see, that goes into the interior of the cooler. This is adjustable as well, and a shoulder pad, and there's some smaller handles. And then there's a front pocket that zips. And then the top of the cooler, I think we all know what that is, is the interior. like a silver interior. 
is our big cooler we have. I wouldn't necessarily call it a large ice chest, um, but you know, this is not from Igloo. I think it's just a normal Target brand, but um, I think this is perfect for like a long day with lots of food or drinks and snacks you want to bring and, you know, like go to the beach or something like that. And then like a smaller version would be great if it was like a half day thing or you didn't plan to eat much. So this is perfect um, for those types of outings that uh, you just want to bring a little bit more with you. Uh, okay, let's move on to the next item. This next item I have is just a basic canvas tote, which honestly I think I'd like to pick up a few more just because this is the only one I have that I would probably go out with. But um, it's actually like a free tote that we got somewhere. I don't even think we got Casper products with us. We just got this somewhere. Like I don't remember, but we don't have any Casper products, so I'm not sure how we got it. But it says, you snooze, you win with lose, strike through. I think that's clever. Now, I'm not ashamed of going out with promoting Casper. I think they probably have great products. Usually, though, I wear it uh, to show the blank side. This is perfect for, you know, the farmer's market kind of thing. I think everyone, people have these for all year long. I do need to pick up some that I feel like I really like, but I think this is great for like, you know, if you're just going out to the farmer's market or um, to the library, like reading a lot, so I need a bag for getting all my books. <laughs> so, or just like if you're hopping out, I just feel like it's nice to have something like this in the summertime. And I feel like I often pull it out more in the spring and summer, so that's kind of why I have it in this video in my summer bag collection. Um, but you can literally get any of this kind of tote anywhere. Um, I think they sell them pretty much most places now, but I am eager to find some new ones myself. So, that's a nice little bag. It's pretty simple if you were to kind of treat it like a beach bag, too. So this is my next beach bag. I think I got this Michael's, like of all places. They had this set of summer looking bags and I was like, oh, I want one. And, um, I like it. I don't know if it's my favorite, but I do use it. Like, if I go to the pool, we have a pool in our neighborhood. If I go to the pool, I'll usually, like, stick a few things in here and take it because it's pretty easy. It's probably not the most comfortable just because the handles are really small and they're, they're comfortable. But they're, you know, it's just not something I usually grab if I'm going to the beach. Uh, but it's a really good bag. It's like a canvas. Um, so I'd call this kind of like my quick pull bag. You could also use it as like an extra carrying around items. But, um, yeah, so that's this bag. Another bag that has a bit more history to it is this one. It's um, actually from Costa Rica. I can't remember if I was given this by my mom or some relatives because my mom is from Costa Rica. And she tries to visit often. Or if um, the last time I was in Costa Rica, which was the last time I could recall it, because I think I went as a baby, but I don't remember those times. But the last time I went to Costa Rica, I was about 14 years old, which was over a decade <laughs> at this point. Um, and I don't remember if I picked it up there. I, I just can't remember. This is from Costa Rica, that much I know. 
And I wore this so much. I think in high school and even college, I would just take this during the summer and it's kind of like my purse often, you know, for vacationing somewhere or, you know, spending time a lot at the beach or the pool. I would use this and even just like during the summer, it just feels like a very summer bag. Um, and I like it because it's just really lasted, honestly. I do think I need to wash it. Um, it's kind of gross, <laughs> kind of grimy. I think it's just less um, clean, obviously, than when I first got it 10 years ago. I mean, that's crazy. But this bag's lasted me forever, and I think I just, because it's from Costa Rica, it's one of those things that I just wouldn't let go, and I still like it. So, super useful. Yeah, so it's pretty roomy, and um, I did make like a knot at the top to kind of make it shorter. It holds a lot. I remember using this so frequently, so I just never got rid of it because I feel like it's something I'll always kind of come back to. But, yeah. So, I like that. So this next item I actually use more frequently, um, especially if we're going to like, you know, like vacation. Usually me and my family go to like a lake every summer and, you know, we hang out by the lake and we have a cabin that we rent with other family members and we have a boat we can go on. So there's a lot of like snacking and chilling by the lake. So. I guess you could call this a proper beach bag where it's more or less carrying like, you know, your towel or snacks or just, you know, lots of items. And this one is kind of hard to see because I have a black tablecloth here, but it's kind of mesh. It's like a mesh material. This is from Target. So they probably will have more of these in different colors. So I just went for the black because it's really simple. This is just more for utility than I would say fashion. It was really just to easily throw things in if we're going to the lake and spending a few hours. And it's got some side pockets too, which is nice. It's also a great bag for traveling. I don't know about anyone else, but often when I'm traveling, like on a road trip or yeah, mostly a road trip because I wouldn't necessarily bring this on like a flight. Usually if we're on a road trip, you know, I've packed maybe a little suitcase or a personal bag, but then I feel like I need an extra like catch-all bag of just random stuff like shoes or books or just like random items, water, I don't know. Sometimes I overpack and I just need like another bag, but not like another suitcase, so... I'll go for something like this kind of tote. So yeah, that's this bag. It's just got regular handles and it's pretty comfortable. So that's this bag. video, I don't remember. This was in like the dollar section of Target. It was not one dollar though, it was like five or ten, I don't remember. But I, would th I saw this and I thought it was so cute and like very fashionable for what you might find in that kind of section. It's um, like a straw bag, of course, with the standard handles and it's got a cloth interior. Yeah, so it's just very much like your standard beach bag. And I love this for going to the pool or if I'm going somewhere and I want to kind of look more fashionable. <laughs> it's a little less utility and I mean it, it looks like a nice purse if you want to have something to catch or carry a few items. But yeah, I'd call this kind of like my standard pool bag. So, that's 
this bag. It originally came with these like tassel bowl things and it just wrapped around. I think it was like tied in a knot but I didn't love having this on all the time so I just unknotted it. So I saw the potential <laughs> with or without. Sometimes I'll have them, sometimes I won't, and that's okay. Okay, so that's this bag. So my last kind of beachy bag, I would say, like a beach tote. The last one I have is this like straw. Now it's a large. showed um, and I think it's because it's meant to be like a basic bag that you can like add things to it and decorate but I just loved the way it looked naturally we'll see the only thing I don't love about this bag is the handles they're very uncomfortable to hold and they just don't feel that great so I don't really reach for this one that much but it's very sturdy I mean, it's pretty spacious, so like I technically do use it, but not, I just don't reach for it that often. But um, yeah, it's great. It's got a little side pocket though. I like that, honestly. That's a good part about it. But yeah, I don't think I plan to get rid of it this summer, but maybe if by next summer I'm not using it, maybe I'll just give it away. Um, so yeah. showed this bag before. I think I might have. But if not, and you haven't seen that previous video, then I will still introduce you. Now this bag is like a travel bag uh, from a company that I, I saw advertised, I think, on social media. And the thing that really sold me was the pocket on one of the sides of the bag where you can, it acts like a sleeve on your um, suitcase handles. So you can slip it over and it just sits on the top of your suitcase. And um, I love it. So it's been my trusty bag for a while. So this is the, there's a zipper down here that you can close and acts like a pocket. Or you can unzip it and you can slip it over your suitcase handles. So the suitcase handles go through the other side. There's also a zipper at the top here, so it can kind of act like a pocket or hold the handles of your suitcase, which I like. Usually when I'm not traveling and using this bag, I use it as a way to carry all my small bags that I use for traveling. Um, so it looks pretty full right now, but it's actually, it's actually filled with other bags. So I took all the small bags out, so I can kind of walk through those with you. But this is just the interior of the bag. And what's also cool is there's this bottom section that you can unzip, and you can stick more things in a separate compartment. Or you can unzip the f bottom or top of this compartment, it can reach all the way down in terms of capacity. Um, so just like a sneak peek. This is what that looks like. It's kind of dark so you can't really see, but... That is the bag. Very cool and very 
um, compact or I would say functional for what I look for. It's by Low and Sons, L O and Sons. So I can link it below if I can find it. They have like other neutral colors. So very practical, but also nice looking. So I'm not sure if Urban Outfitters still gives these bags out, but when usually when you shop at Urban Outfitters, they give you this like cloth looking bag. And I've saved a few over the years actually. And what I like to do is take these kind of like dust bags. They're kind of like cloth feeling. Usually I'll use these for shoes when I'm packing for a trip. Um, so that's what I like to use for packing shoes uh, to kind of keep it separated from other items. And I have a few more somewhere, but I think they might be in a suitcase somewhere. The star of the show in terms of travel bags, though, are packing cubes. Now, I have a ton of packing cubes in this big packing cube uh, to kind of keep it all compact. But I love to pack with packing cubes. Essentially, they're just like smaller bags so you can stick clothes in and separate out your clothes, you know, by tops or pajamas or pants, things like that. Um, there's, they're usually sold in a set that come with like, a, like at least, you know, a few bags and then you can kind of decide how you want to use them. And I love them. I think some people would just opt to throw their clothes in the suitcase and keep it organized that way, but I'm not that organized sometimes, and I find that these make things a lot easier for me. Especially when unpacking or packing, um, they come in handy for me, so. I really love them, and I have a set for my husband as well. His are blue, and mine are gray. I'm not gonna go through each one, because there's a lot. Maybe I'll do a packing video, though. Because um, we're going on vacation soon, so definitely need to use these, so maybe I'll do a packing video, ASMR style. We'll see. So, those are packing cubes. This one was from, like, Amazon. It's called Dream Travel. Um, I don't know if that's the name of the company or the product, but I'm sure if you looked up packing cubes anywhere, you'll find a few options. Now, in combination with my packing cubes, I often love to get little bags, um, usually like you would think maybe cosmetic bags, but um, they kind of hold a variety of things like cosmetics or, you know, beauty products of different things. Um, so that's what I use these for. Sometimes I'll use them for electronics. I just think having a lot of different bags is great. And usually I find that I collect them at some point. Like, these bubble wrap bags are from Glossier, so whenever I order products from them, usually they'll give me a free bag like this. I don't know if they still do that. It's like their signature pink bags, so I have a ton of these. And I use them for traveling. They come with like a little zip. Now, I do find that sometimes these break or become unsealable. That's the only downfall, but they're, they're not super high quality, so I can expect that. But I get very good use out of these. And I don't purchase from Glossy very often. I would say maybe like one or two times a year to kind of restock on things I like, but um, I find I have plenty of these bags that I'm able to use for some time. This bag, I think, is from, like, Target, and it's got, like, fun little tassels. So, I usually use this for, like, miscellaneous hair stuff or skincare. Um, and then I have another, like, smaller glass. 
glossy bag. I have just a ton of these lying around. Sometimes I'm just going through my closet and one will just fly out at me. <sighs> so, it's got a nice sound though. Okay. So those are my small bags. The last few bags I want to wrap up with are my backpacks for amusement parks. So we are Disneyland pass holders. So we are going to Disneyland pretty often throughout the month. So this isn't exactly a seasonal summer only thing, but I wanted to just share my backpacks that I would have you, I would usually take to an amusement park and if you're going this summer, maybe that inspires you um, I did show this bag in my last well, I think I, sh I had it only in my um, what's in my Disney bag which I can link, but this is what I had originally gotten for Disneyland I would say last June it's got a lot of zippers and a lot of compartments. And it's, you know, a very, like, practical bag. I would still use this depending on, like, where, where I'm going and if I just need something for the utility of it. This is a great bag. It just has a lot of pockets. And I would still even take it for amusement park day. I just think one of the things I try to recommend is not to overpack depending on what you're carrying or who you're caring for during an amusement park day. I know with kids you can end up with just a whole stroller of things, but if you're going to be wearing a backpack like for 14 hours, if you're only going for one day, it's just really important to make sure that you're not overpacking because your back will thank you. And often I find I don't even use that much. Now that we are uh, pass holders, I have upgraded my backpacks and I'm actually now a proud owner of some Disney merchandise backpacks that I got for Christmas. So, let me share those. Okay. So, this one is probably from Lunchbox. Or Box Lunch. I can't remember what it's called. Something like that where they sell like Disney stuff. They're like, they have like a partnership where they can sell themed products like Disney or other kind of stuff. And then this one I think is from Hot Topic actually. So I'll go ahead and share the Alice in Wonderland one first. So this is an Alice in Wonderland themed bag. It's so pretty used to love Alice in Wonderland when I was young. I would watch that movie over and over again. And I still like it. I'm not as obsessed, I would say, but I've always been a fan of Alice in Wonderland. And it's one of my favorite rides at Disneyland. Overall, it's, as a kid, I just loved it so much. Um, so, this is, I think, the Loungefly collections. So these are very, like, standard bags that Disney sells and a lot of people carry these and I find that I'm sucked into it as well. <laughs> I just think it's fun to kind of have this type of themed bag when I'm walking around the park. It just gets me the spirit of Disneyland. So, it's super cute. It's got like a little clock charm. This is, this is a front pocket. Um, I think I might have just closed it. <laughs> And then there's a, just a general interior pocket. These are very much more expensive than like an average backpack, I would say. So they're pretty high quality and very beautiful. So they're definitely things I would keep for a while, forever probably. The interior there, it's hard to see the interior, but the cloth inside is also Alice in Wonderland design. So it's super cute. I think the only downfall is like, 
even though this looks small, it actually holds a lot. So, um, things can end up getting really lost in here. <laughs> so I do have to keep small bags of things inside so I don't, like, lose what I need. And I would say the side pocket is really tight, so I can only really stick chapstick or something, like, in here. I can't, I can't stick, like, a water bottle, which I don't really bring water bottles, so it's not a huge deal. Yeah, this is my Alice in Wonderland bag. Very cute. And decorative. So, and it's got like a little lounge fly plaque at the top. You can find much cute, much. You can find quite a bit of fun Disney items for far more inexpensive prices though, so. If you're really wanting something, I would say there are budget-friendly options out there other than Loungefly. So, the next one I have is um, another Loungefly. It's a little less flashy because it's more neutral, gray, and white, which I liked because I felt like it would be kind of work for any season. Um, and it's got like a cute little pocket. And it's, it's more like a gray and white. It's not, you know, black. And then the zipper. Oh, I have a few items in here, actually. What do I have in here? Oh, have some wet lines. <laughs> I always like to bring these to Disneyland. Mainly when you're, like, eating food and, like, it gets all over your hands. Like, if you're eating with your hands. This just makes it feel like I'm actually thoroughly cleaning my hands instead of just wiping my hands together with um, hand sanitizer if I can't find a restroom soon enough. <laughs> so I like these for like when I'm eating and I'm not gonna like have a restroom right nearby to like go wash my hands. And I have a old battery pack, which I have some new ones, so I don't really need that one anymore. This is where my chapstick went. My sunscreen chapstick, which I honestly only wear this version of my chapstick um, with sunscreen if I am going somewhere like a, like a park, like an amusement park. And we have some more hand sanitizer wipes. I think I kept these things in here because it's just easier to keep because they're mostly used when I go to Disneyland. is my last summer bag. So, yeah. I thought it would be fun to end off on the Disney bags. <laughs> um, so, hopefully you enjoyed these bags and my summer bag collection. I enjoyed sharing my bags with you and hopefully it was interesting or relaxing. I'm excited to use my igloo fanny packs sooner than later. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to do more bag videos in the future because I just love the sound of all the different types of bags. But, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you're well wherever you are. Alright, I will catch you in the next one.